Lenses in CorelDRAW enable you to apply a variety of different effects to an object or image area without actually changing the object or area itself. In CorelDRAW 2020, you can now apply any bitmap effect as a lens using AI technology. Applying an effect as a lens confines the effect within the boundary of the lens, so both the surrounding area and the area beneath the lens are protected. You can also move or manipulate the lens giving you the freedom to experiment or position the bitmap effect with precision in your design. Before we get started, if you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. For a simple example, I'll create a lens for the orange sunglasses in this imported photo. I'll use the ellipse tool to define the shape, pressing Command and Shift to draw it out from the center. I'll move it into place and adjust it to fit. I'll right-click on the No Color swatch and choose Set Outline Color. To open the Lens Inspector, I'll go to Window, Inspector, Effects, Lens. In addition to the Lens Effect options we had before, such as Brighten, Heat Map, or Invert, there is now Bitmap Effect. I'll select this type of lens, and now I can choose the actual bitmap effect to apply. Back in the Objects Inspector, I can see that this ellipse is now a lens. From the Effects menu, I'll choose Creative, Art Style, and choose the Sienna Style with High Detail and Intensity. To apply the same lens to the other side of the sunglasses, I can simply press Command D to duplicate it. Here's my copied lens, and as I move it around, whatever is below the lens, such as this part of the hat, gets the same bitmap effect. I'll place the lens within the frame of the glasses and adjust it a bit. To place a lens above the blue sunglasses, the ellipse tool won't work on the left side. I'll switch to the Bezier tool and trace around the visible part of this side of the glasses and double click to close the curve. As before, I'll remove the outline. To copy the properties from the previous lens onto this curve, I'll activate the Attributes eyedropper. In the Property bar, under Effects, I want to copy both the Lens and Bitmap Effects. I'll click the Sienna Effect Lens to sample its properties and drop them into the new curve. The Sienna Art Style doesn't work as well for these glasses, so I'll open the Properties Inspector to the FX tab and double-click the Art Style effect in order to edit it. Pink Pastel with lower intensity and detail works nicely here. For the other eye, I'll select one of the round lenses and duplicate it, move it into place, and use the Attributes eyedropper to copy the pink pastel lens attributes. Another way to apply a lens is to trace the area you want to define. To apply a lens to one of the white t-shirts, I'll activate the Freehand tool, carefully trace around, then remove the outline. I'll make this a lens with bitmap effects and go straight to the Effects tab of the Properties Inspector. Here I can use the plus sign to open the same list of effects that appears in the Effects menu, as well as the Adjust options. I'll choose Creative, Fabric, with the Tissue Collage style. On top of that, I'll add Art Strokes, Water Marker. Now it's easier to see the spots along the lens boundary that don't quite line up with the shirt. I can tweak this with the Shape tool by moving nodes. I can add nodes where needed by double-clicking. To avoid some of the painstaking work of fixing the boundary, I'll take advantage of the new Feathering effect. I'll choose Blur, Feather, and adjust the boundary width and mode. This increases the effect transparency along the edges, which makes the other effects blend seamlessly with the rest of the photograph. As with all bitmap effects, Lens effects can be adjusted. In the Effects tab, I can turn effects on and off with the eye icon. Or, as I showed earlier, I can edit an effect to adjust its settings, or drag to rearrange effect order. Bitmap lens effects can be applied to vector objects as well. In this document, I want to apply a lens bitmap effect to the curve that defines the arch window. With that curve selected in the Objects Inspector, I'll add a bitmap effect lens, then add Creative, 
smoked glass to darken and blur a bit, then art strokes, pastels, to add the painting effect. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on lens bitmap effects in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.